We are live from 304 Studios in Jonesboro, Arkansas. This is an stspod.club production. I'm BT in my fancy work shirt. It's in my fancy work shirt. And that guy right there is a brother from a different mother. He is Rhino JB. How the hell are you, Rhino? Man, doing great. Another Saturday, another blessing from Memphis Wrestling. Let's get it. There we go. Awesome, awesome, awesome. A Memphis 316, is that what it says? Memphis 3, oh, uh, hell yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Tonight, 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 we have the Dyer, Dyer County Clash. Is uh, Dyer County Fair there. Man, gun show against uh, Mike Anthony. Be there, be there. If you're in Northeast Arkansas, though, we have Newport, Arkansas tonight, tonight, tonight. Austin Lane and a bunch of people there. Guess what? Both shows are free. That's right, free. So you can either go to the Dyer County Clash or you can be in Newport for the big show, big show there. Uh, Real quick, we had two shows this past week. Uh, Dynamite, where we reviewed the pay-per-view from Sunday and <laughs> the press conference, Ooh. by the way. And we'll talk about that on the Patreon. Yes. Uh, and coming this Tuesday, WTF. By the way, Patreon, go to our main page. We're having some problems with the RSS feed. Uh, and now what that does, it sends it to different apps. It's not sending it to the Apple app. If you miss the episode... Just either go to our main page, www.stspod.club, or if you want to go to any of the other sites, they it's feeding it through other apps, and also it's on the Apple podcast site, but not actually on the app. So business taken care of. Business. Every week, every week we do this. This is week 81. We're in the big countdown right now, Rhino. The countdown to episode 100 just started, buddy. It wow. just started. We got 19 more episodes after this. Big 100. 19, see, 100. Yeah, yeah, I'm right. I'm right. right. <laughs> All right. Every week, guys, we do the hits, the misses, MVP. We also have a question of the week. What do you look forward to next week and must see? Rhino, what are your hits for the week? Man, I'm going to keep it just like my wine glass, short and sweet here this week. My hits of the week, my goodness, BT, let me start off by saying what an episode. This was, I thought this was a mega episode. Let me first say that before I say it's short and sweet. This was a, a, I mean, I was in the building. I don't know if you saw this young gentleman in the building uh, rocking a nice beard like this one right here no, with the glasses. No, I, you didn't I, see I him? knew it wasn't you. I knew that was your uh, that was your doppelganger. My doppelganger? No, that was me this time. I was in the building. So that's why I'm going to keep it short and sweet. But I want to say, you know, Mike Anthony coming out there saying that he wanted his money back from Money Mark. Uh, Mike Anthony, I thought, I believe to have cut some of the best promos that we've seen in Memphis Wrestling. Money Mark is another manager that I put up there, right up there with um, Jimmy Blaylock where he money mark has really in my opinion has been knocking it out the park i mean he's really like really played into his managerial role in money mark he's money his business and the way he asserts himself within what he's doing man i'm buying every penny of what he's selling so uh them two going back and forth with each other we also saw casanova colton cage versus a washington for the internet championship zay washington getting a win but also getting attacked by aaron roberts the I don't think either one of us saw this coming, BT. No, I mean, I mean us- we talked about it. We've talked about it a couple of times. If y'all ever split up, yeah. if they ever split right. up, the, I won't yeah. say, I won't. But we just never saw this coming. No, not, not right now. All. Not at all. Not at no. all. But I'm loving it, BT. I'm loving it. What's next? It almost gives me the vibes. I know you say, I believe you said that you weren't much of an NXT guy. But it's no, giving no. me it's giving me Gargano Champa vibes. It's it's really giving me team DIY vibes right here. I can't wait to see what the because I've seen what these guys can do together. They can win tag team championships together. But what are they gonna do against each other? I think we're gonna get some really good matches there. Uh we also saw a little bit of a preview of the 901 Day Bash. I was able to be there for that. That was absolutely incredible. Memphis wrestling putting on a show right there, uh in downtown Memphis, right in front of the FedEx forum. It was, we mentioned that last Saturday. Huge, huge crowd for that. And huge Crenshaw crowd. Both, 
but you you actually got to see uh, uh clips from that and that's that was awesome right was awesome. right it was absolutely amazing being in the crowd for that was absolutely incredible as well as uh everybody was just loving it out there but also here in this episode we saw cassandra golden defeat ddt the women's champion and nicks to be crowned the new women's champion this is my moment of the night right here bt uh cassandra golden has been a part of memphis wrestling I believe since day one. From I think day I, one. From she, day yep, one. Yep, yep. Um, this is incredible. If there's anyone that deserves this championship, Cassandra Golden definitely deserves it. She proved that in the match. Uh, a huge moment uh, for her fans, myself, and uh, everybody watching Memphis Wrestling. We have one hell of a Memphis Women's Champion here on board. And we also, speaking of champions, saw new tag team champions within Memphis Muscle defeating the Posse. Did you see Simon? You know, you put he put our name. I guess we're good, BT, because they put our name on the hit list there. I think we're good now. At least uh, Memphis Muscle is going to be my backup. There we, the go, there we go. There Simon we go. Simon holding on to that championship, not wanting to let it go. I loved that moment. I that it just made me so much more invested within the tag team championships. But uh, shout out to Memphis Muscle and especially shout out to Big Swole getting his first championship in Memphis wrestling hell of a moment definitely deserves it uh those are my hits of the week go to piggyback almost everything there like the big uh like the mike interview at the very front uh dustin fallen star dustin fallen star that's what the mark the money mark called him <laughs> uh, that's what i'll call him on the next episode of shooting star there you go uh money mark and big jack out uh by the way just to let you know i i said something wrong the other day uh mike anthony and big jack have never worked against each other in this area so it's gonna be fun to see those two big guys against each other and money mark right there at ringside zay versus colton cage Two guys we, we both like a lot. A Rob goes goes ahead and jumps Zay again. So it'll be interesting to see what happens with that. Cassandra Golden, it, it, I don't get spoilers, but it, it also I saw her on some future posters. She didn't have the belt, but we also have found if you look at future posters, you kind of see who's going to be the champs. Uh, and Cassandra Golden deserves it, as you said, been with the company for a long time. Took a break, came back, um, and she's the champion. So I I hope she keeps it for a long time. Uh, Triple R had another. He's doing kind of a Rick Rude, Ted DiBiase gimmick. It's like a, uh, it's, it's like a cross between both. Um, and I like it. I like, I like him a lot. And the final, like you said, Memphis Muscle against the Posse. We've seen Justin Cole, Big Swole Justin Cole, finally get his first title win. And then we've got the first guy ever to hold the heavyweight title, the Heritage title, plus the tag team titles. And Brett Michaels, the gun show, the top baby face guys, I don't care what you say. Uh, he was huge there at 901 Day. I saw footage of that. The crowd loves this guy, so why not put another belt on him? That's what I say. All right, that was our hits for the week. All right, Rhino, give me the misses. I actually don't have any this week. No misses from no Rhino. Misses from, oh. I love this episode. I lo me, I'm going to line all these misses up, and I'm going to throw them at you. Throw them at me. I, I was there. I was there. I think that played a part, but I don't have any misses right, this I'm week. Lying. I got one, and it's really being picky, but I want a Zay Washington, Colton Cage, and I want about 20 minutes, guys. I don't want a Russian, and I know they oh. had two title matches on that TV show. Love to see them go a long time. Three. Would love. Three tile, yeah, I know, but I'm talking yeah. about they had they were gonna make sure those two in at the end were gonna be oh, right, I just right, felt right, that right, way. Right, I felt yeah. that way. Uh so but yeah, Zay against Colton a little longer. Other than that, I mean it's just they're just hitting all cylinders. I know I say that every week, but it's just a fun one hour it goes by really fast. It really fun, is. fun, fun wrestling. All right. We are up to MVP. Who's your MVP of the week? My MVP this week is going to have to go to Memphis Muscle, more specifically Big Swole Justin Cole winning his first championship in Memphis wrestling. I think this is very well deserved as well. As I said, Cassandra Golden deserved her championship. Big Swole has been day one as well and winning his first championship alongside what I've called the bar in Memphis wrestling. Big Swole, uh, Big Swole Justin Cole winning his championship with 
the one and only boom the one and only man that's Brett right Michaels. and i'll go with that memphis muscle means a lot uh, we know a, a title means a lot to both those guys and, and watching them win uh together yeah big swole is a guy that you know it took me seeing him live to understand the push he is a baby face. He told me yeah. during our interview that he's been a heel before also, but but I can't see it. I just can't see him as a heel. So congratulations to Memphis Muscle Tag Team Champions. Finally, the posse has been defeated. Our MVP for the week, Memphis Muscle. All right, let me get some business out of the way. I, we talked about tonight, tonight. We got the fair show and we got the Newport, Arkansas show. But next weekend, starting on Friday night, we won't be able to talk about Friday night next Saturday, but we can talk about it now. At the West Tennessee State Fair in Jackson, Tennessee, free wrestling. Again, free wrestling. Then on Saturday night, we have American Hostile Championship Wrestling in Wardell, Arkansas. I mean, Wardell, Missouri, with big Jack Parker against Jack Parker against Aaron Roberts. A Rob. Ooh, that could be good, guys. And their tag team champions, L8 Hustlers, will be defending the titles against a team called the New Sensations. It's Mark Southern Jr. and Astonishing Austin. Two young guys. Astonishing Austin reminds me of Dustin Starr, man. You got to see this guy. I mean, when he first started, when he first started. Uh, so in Sunday, AEW star Tony Nese is coming to Memphis Wrestling. Tickets now. Go to their website. Get your tickets now. He's also doing a training seminar. Should be awesome. The training seminar. If you're a oh, professional yeah. wrestler in this area and you're not going, spending a little money and going to the training seminar, shame on you guys. Shame on you. Yeah. He's an AEW guy. He's He works a lot of shows. This You can learn a lot from guys like this. All right. All right. All right. Question. We are at Question of the Week. Well, hello, Memphis Wrestling fans. It's Referee Sleazy E. And I'm here to bring you the Question of the Week yet again. Best of the Best Fan 870 ask, Is it true that you're also a wrestler? All right, well, I guess we can go ahead and just nip this in the bud right here. My first job I ever held in professional wrestling was running a video camera. So I was a video guy. My next job was security. I was a security guy. My next job, once I was able to start training in the ring, was referee. At that point, the book just busted on open. But what I'm trying to get down to you is, I'm really not into labels. I worked hard and I achieved my dream of being able to perform as a professional wrestler. That doesn't mean that I'm not a referee. That doesn't mean that I'm not someone who spent years announcing. I've always been a student of the game. Always have been always will be. Now when it comes down to Sleazy E and Memphis Wrestling, the very first taping of Memphis Wrestling, I was not there. I was not booked. But somehow, someway, I got a call from Dustin Starr before the second taping. And he asked me if I would like an opportunity. I said, this is all I've been waiting on. So I show up before Dustin Starr even arrives at the tapings. I show him I'm here to work, and that's what I've always done. The only title I really need is Sleazy. Spend more than five minutes around me and you just know exactly what it is. Somehow, someway, Mr. Starr was impressed, or at least decided to be able to put up with me enough to sign me to a full-time referee contract, and I've been refereeing in Memphis Wrestling ever since. Now, do I also wrestle? Yes. 
but I'm a full-time official and I take my job very seriously. Whatever is given to me, I do it, baby. Do or be dead. I hope that answers your question. This is Referee Sleazy E. Rhino JB. That one's for you, baby. BT, my friend. Thanks for having me again. This has been the question of the week with Referee Sleazy E. Oh, God! <clears throat>what do you say do it or be dead jb but do it or be dead as my friend sleazy e he um man just people want to know we we got a guy who who just was a referee but everybody's asking where'd you get this guy and you know he, he he's different let's just say he's different jb is that the best way to put it different i think so i think in 2022 that's what you say <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, you know, I don't think I even told y'all how to do this last week. I just forget. Question of the week, call 501-232-1701. We'll play your question and then as part of the video. We can hear you do it. Or you can email us like everyone else does. At, come on, don't do it like boring people do. Go ahead and call us. It's stspodclub at gmail.com, stspod dot club at gmail.com that you can ask a question for dustin me jb or sleazy that was question of the week all right what do we look forward to the most about next week there jb well for me and next week i'm looking forward to seeing what the posse have to say about this i mean we saw how simon was clutching on to the tag team championships and we've seen them run shenanigans after shenanigans after shenanigans What's going to happen next week? They destroyed the Memphis Wrestling Center when they were upset. I don't know if you remember that, BT. Oh, man, but, yeah, yeah. Oh, my gosh. So I'm wondering, I'm just wondering what's going to happen next week with that, if anything. I And what I put down, I typed, where does this all go? There's so yeah. many at all times. Memphis is doing things, and we talk about this. I talk about this almost every week, but it's up in front and behind storylines constantly. I mean, if you go all the way back to the first show, like you said, Cassandra uh, was on the first show. Big Swell was on number one show. These mm -hmm. people have had a vision for them from day one. Yeah, Cassandra's going to be the champ. Yeah, we're going to eventually do this. We're going to do this. Ever since they put those two guys together, you knew they were going to put the tag team belts on them. But where are they going to put the – we didn't know for real, for sure. Uh, but it was – it's it's good storytelling. Uh, and I, I mentioned this uh, earlier, but I love the idea of, of – okay, we got – Brett Michaels over. Boom, we got him over, right? He's right. over. He's number one babyface. Let's keep on pushing it. Let's don't stop it. Let's keep on Mike saying we're not done. Let's keep on pushing him to have another title around his waist. He, when he turns, JB, when he turns against the fans, he's going to be one of the most hated guys in this area. It'll, if, be, a, it'll be a while. If. But, if if okay i don't think he's john cena i've seen him as a heel baby. i don't know i don't know I, i've seen him as a heel i haven't uh i, I haven't you know who he was with when he was a heel oh uh, hold on i think he told me i think he told me um it wasn't swole was it it was hollywood jimmy blade oh wow wow no, he, <laughs> God. So God. they this should be should be very very interesting. Wow. All wow. right, all right. Up to must see, must see for week 81. What's your must see, JB? My must see is going to have to be DDT defending her women's championship against Cassandra Golden and the Knicks. In the end of that, we saw Cassandra Golden be crowned the new women's champion, but the women's championship at one point in time was vacated and now is looking hotter than ever, in my opinion. I love this match. This is my must-see of this week. 
All right, my must-see would be the tag team win. I'm still going with the big muscle, uh, Memphis muscle there. Must-see is their tag team win. The posse, you know, we'll have to go back and see how long. That was a long reign for the posse. We'll see how long they've had it, how many weeks. Uh, But good to see it on uh, uh, Brett Michaels and Big Slow Justin Cole. Must-see for the week, Cassandra's win and the tag team title win. All right, we're going to be here Saturday. But you can be either in Newport or Dyer County Fair, free, 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 free wrestling tonight, tonight, tonight. And remember, next, this upcoming Friday night, they're going to be in the West Tennessee State Fair. That is in Jackson, Tennessee, and that wrestling street. Guys, get out there. They're, they're, they're sponsors that pay for this kind of stuff. Get out there and support Memphis Wrestling. We, we appreciate it. Uh, as I said last week, huge crowds. And also, hey, advertise on the website. It, it actually helps uh, stspod.club. And you can also advertise with Memphis Wrestling. All right, guys. Same bad time, same bad channel. On the best little wrestling podcast in the business. Be there. And as Rhino knows and everyone else knows, I love my mama. Me too.